I truly believe with all my heart that suffering is not the only way that we evolve and that suffering is overrated and that it's unnecessary. Is suffering a necessary part of the human condition? What would people who never suffer be like? It appears like suffering is a necessary part of the human condition. I think that's what we've gotten ourselves caught up in, believing that we only can evolve through addressing suffering and, and change or make this better in some way. I truly believe with all my heart that suffering is not the only way that we evolve and that suffering is overrated and that it's unnecessary. Um, most often it's unnecessary and I'd say could possibly be 100% of the time unnecessary when we realize what's really happening at that same time. Um, many years ago, I experienced an awakening. And in that experience, um, it was in 1996 that I had a near-death experience. And during that near-death experience, I saw um, my life go before my eyes like a classic near-death experience that people talk about. The difference was that I saw in that time when my life went before my eyes, all of the painful situations in my life that I had suffered kind of on this amazing timeless rewind that could see everything in intimate detail of the problems and pains that I had experienced, all the suffering and yet at that time when I was seeing it and I wasn't in the confines of my physical body, believing it and all wrapped up in it, I heard felt from this benevolent place, what someone would hear, feel like the voice of God, but within me saying, now you see how I see, now you see how I see, now you see how I see. And I saw all that pain and suffering in my life, now through the eyes of the divine, knowing that I was at one with omnipotence, with transcendence, with the utmost, with this being beyond death, beyond anything that could be a problem. And it was hysterical. Literally, it was this rolling laughter that I was feeling within my being. How funny that all of those things that I had suffered through was because I had such a limited perspective of who I was and what life was and what reality is. And I didn't know that I had caused all my suffering through my resistance and through my believing that I was so much smaller than the infinite being that I now was. So I realized that we could go through life without suffering, but it would take a dramatic shift in perspective. And that's what I've been doing for the last 26 uh, years with people is helping them see things differently in the midst of their challenges and pain. So yes, I know that, that suffering is not necessary because I help people move out of suffering mode into awareness to transcend the human condition while they're in the midst of the suffering. And, and it's a most delightful thing to watch someone who's in the throes of suffering leave not only laughing, but smiling and, and enjoying their capacity to be transcendent. Most often, we just need someone, something to remind us that there's so much more than this. There's so much more than just this physicality. We're infinite and we are not finite. There is no such thing as death. My near-death experience showed me that. And, and there is a part of us that can transcend all manner of suffering. But what we have to do to know that and to live that is to be at one with love. There's no suffering to love. There's no capacity for suffering with love. There's no this and that to love. There's only well-being and peace and ease to the reality of who we truly are. So my experience in that was that suffering is overrated and it's not necessary. And then for the last 25 years, I've been helping people to move past suffering as quickly as possible in ways that people would call miraculous, that miracles collapse time and space, just like that near-death experience. How do you experience your whole life in such a short amount of time unless 
the miracle was evident in collapsing time and space for me to see all those painful experiences and feel them and see them renewed and come out the other side. Once I came out of that experience, uh, that near-death experience after that, I, I didn't tell people that I could help them with their suffering. They just started showing up. And over and over and over again, I saw that any suffering that we can dream up in our dream of separation from our true divinity and from the eternal nature of us, the perfection of us and the transcendence of us is something that can be transformed and transmuted and transcended. So um, I would say suffering is optional, but for most people that don't know that, I don't wanna seem that I'm not compassionate, but um, I do allow myself to stay above it in order to pull them up to heaven with me. I don't get in the thick and mire with them and, and let myself get all wrapped up in the pain and suffering. I say, here, let's stand and look at it from here, just the same way I looked at that near-death experience at my life from, from this perspective of vastness. And once someone sees that, they can feel it tangibly, it touches that part within them, awakens that little seed of light within them to start to come to life. And they see that suffering can be a real source of liberation and transcendence. So what would people who never suffer be like? They'd be awake. That's what it's like to be awake. You're awake in a world of suffering, but you see that there's so much more than this. It's like standing at the top of a mountaintop and looking down and seeing what before was so problematic and so big and looming. And now you're seeing it as very small and insignificant and, and you can transcend it and, and see it in a different way. All of us have that capacity to rise above our challenges and pain. It's when we're so enmeshed and admired in it that we, um, we don't realize that we can be someone who learns a great deal about our own true self from the suffering in a way that we are so much more than that. And then that can stay with us for the rest of our lives in a way that we transcend so much and transform so much just by our presence. Not that we're trying to fix or change things or make people any different than what they are. We bring a light to the darkness naturally. And we watch how that is all that we've ever been looking for our whole lives. <laughs>